Judges want to know if their beautiful outsides reflect a renewed attitude and outlook on life. Now in our next event, each contestant will select a random card with the name of one of our judges or yours truly. I'll choose this one. Okay. Cindy, you've been away from your husband and children for four months now. It's been difficult, although it's been worth it. Um, everything's just going to be great. Um, since you've been away from your husband for so long, what do you think your marriage is going to be like once this is all over and once you go home? I think being here with the SWAN program has helped me work through a lot of my emotional issues that I had in my relationship with my husband. Judges, please record your scores now. Thank you, Beth Lay. Rachel, now that you've completed the SWAN program, have you exceeded your expectations? I have exceeded my expectations because before the program, I don't believe I put a lot of expectations on myself. And through the program, I've learned that I matter a lot and that I have a lot to give to this world and that I have to be able to believe in myself. And in order to do that, I have to have confidence. What have you learned about self-esteem that you would like to pass on to your two children? I have learned so much about uh, self-esteem by being at the program. I learned that you only limit yourself and you can accomplish so much more than you think. And you just always have to have to put your best foot forward and always do the best you can. And um, hopefully that will make your life easier. This has obviously been a life-changing experience for you. Who is Serena? today and what are your plans for the future? Serena today is a person who loves to still do for other people and to bring good into the world but knows. Kelly, do you feel as if you've been able to let go of the past and finally be comfortable in your own skin? I feel completely comfortable in my own skin. Now, coming up, it doesn't get any easier for our contestants because next, they must model in lingerie. Do not go away. Welcome back to the Swan Pageant. Okay. We're down to six semi-finalists, and when these women started our program, they were pretty insecure. In fact, some of them had actually been hiding their bodies from their husbands, their boyfriends, and themselves for years. Well, things have changed slightly. Believe it or not, none of these ladies have ever worn lingerie before, but tonight, they're going to model some on national television. Coming out in lingerie is anything. I feel sexy, and I'm ready to show it to the world and say, look what I have accomplished. Four months ago that they would be wearing lingerie and competing in a beauty contest, they wouldn't have believed it. Remember, they're being judged on beauty, poise, and their overall transformation. But we all know that the true test of a woman's confidence 
is how she feels in her bathing suit. Remember the woman who hasn't had a date in 10 years? Here's Marnie! May I have the envelope, please? Thank you. I have the judge's decision in my hand. Here we go. You ready, ladies? In random order, our first semi-finalist is... It's Kelly Eleni. Massive congratulations to the six of you. Well done, ladies. Coming up, our semi-finalists go face to face with us.